I am uh, doing a little video about how to use the playlist I created before with the uh, angels and the degrees. Oh, I got so bad lighting here. I hope you can see something. And in the old playlists, as you can see, I have 121 and 125 degrees. And they follow like that. But there are some uh, things that uh, are used in the different uh, traditions. I use always that I start with the zero at Aries, the old um, and sometimes called the tropical or normal in some traditions. And Golden Dawn and Aries lies usually about here in the astrological natal chart. And then we have uh, Leo around here. And uh, they start at zero degrees of Leo, so that's where they start there, going around uh, five uh, days, degrees. And uh, then in the Egyptian ancient magic tradition, they used uh, 12 degrees of Leo in the heliacal rising of Sirius. So that was the Lion's Gate and the importance of that date, so they start the uh, whole circle at that time. So that is something uh, what you feel drawn to. And there is no, when you're connecting to the Shem Angels, there is not something that you can only do it for one day or... I used to follow that for the whole world that I go around the circle throughout the world but then when it comes to help others and that, that's just going however it goes and what is needed at that time. And each Shem Angels are allocated to each of the Queenaries, or Quinaries, I don't know how to pronounce that. And you can start the zero and use your own choice here. And these are the three most common ones. The New Age things I don't know anything about. And the Hebrew Tehillim or is not as the Psalms used in Goetia. So that is important when you look at some of the texts like, let's say, uh, from Kabbalistical or some Jewish-inspired magical uh, modern books and so on. They often use the Hebrew Tehillim as well. And in Goetia you use King James or the Latin Catholic Bible. And let's see here. And here we have one. As you can see, I, in those videos where I present the six angels of it, uh, like uh, this is Aries. Here we have the Hebrew Tehillim at top, where I read it out. And then we have the King James Psalm that is used in the Goetia, or it is also in the Goetia, the Catholic uh, Bible. And their psalm, and in Latin. So that's how you use the old Grimoric texts. And uh, the sigils uh, are um, not owned by Damon Brand, and they are not his sigils, are, but these sigils. Like these, these can't be copyrighted or anything like that since they are created by Blaise the Visioneer and used by C in Siblis Goetia and it dates from, uh, let's see, 1523 to 1595 and Sibli in the end of 18th century and then later Madis at the end of 19th century. And uh, so there is no copyright to these sigils. And traditionally they are written in red. And uh, they should always be re um, drawn by you to get the power. So there's no really a use to trace something in a book or something, get a paper and uh, parchment or whatever. And... Um, or metal. And then you inscribe them. Since the power comes from you doing that, and that's the thing that is important. And uh, 
then there is the ruling angels when you really dip into magic you have the ruling angels of the day hour and the seasons many don't use that in the modern practices anymore only more in um, big rituals and the main archangels are angels of the planets and since I follow the old Grimoric tradition, we use seven planets for the seven days, and then I added on some planets and angels there, but uh, you always have just seven planets and uh, seven days, so that's how I roll. And uh, this is just a short little video. I got a terrible mig migraine going on that's been going on for a couple of days, so... Please ask me any questions you like in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I can and, um, and have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.